Although the ligaments stabilize the shoulder joint a little, most of the strength in the joint comes from the rotator cuff muscles. These four deep muscles are the subscapularis and the supraspinatus, as well as the teres minor and infraspinatus muscles. When all are activated at the same time, the rotator cuff muscles act to hold the head of the humerus in the glenoid cavity. Acting with more superficial muscles, the deeper muscles provide movements at the shoulder joint. For instance, the teres minor and infraspinatus, which originate on the inferior part of the scapula and insert on the greater tubercle of the humerus, provide the movement of lateral rotation of the shoulder. The movement of lateral rotation causes the palm of the hand to turn from a medial to an anterior position. Another rotator cuff muscle, the subscapularis, originates on the subscapular fossa of the scapula and inserts on the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Along with several other muscles, including the pectoralis major, deltoid, latissimus dorsi, and teres major. The subscapularis provides the movement of medial rotation of the shoulder. The more superficial muscles are primarily responsible for the other movements of the shoulder. The coracobrachialis originates on the coracoid process of the scapula and inserts on the middle of the medial surface of the humerus. The pectoralis major muscle originates at the clavicle, sternum, and ribs and inserts on the lateral lip of the intertubercular sulcus, just below the greater tubercle. The coracobrachialis works with the pectoralis major muscle to flex the shoulder. They also act synergistically to adduct the shoulder. Opposing the flexor muscles are the shoulder extensor muscles, which are primarily the teres major and latissimus dorsi. The teres major muscle originates on the inferior angle of the scapula and inserts on the medial lip of the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. The latissimus dorsi muscle originates on the spines and bodies of the vertebrae, the sacrum, the ilium, and the ribs. It inserts on the medial lip of the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. The teres major and latissimus dorsi act synergistically to extend the shoulder. The prime movers of shoulder adduction, the pectoralis major and the coracobrachialis, are opposed by the shoulder abductors. The shoulder abductors are the supraspinatus and deltoid. The supraspinatus originates at the supraspinous fossa of the scapula and inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus. The deltoid muscle has three points of origin, clavicle, acromion of the scapula, and spine of the scapula and inserts on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus.
these two muscles act to abduct the shoulder. When all of the major muscles of the shoulder are activated in the correct sequence, then the shoulder joint can undergo circumduction.